and Aries. We have Team Crossy cosplaying as Perona and Usopp from One Piece! <laughs> Last time on One Piece, the Straw Hat Pirates found themselves separated on an ominous looking island. Now only the brave and courageous Usopp can reunite the crew and save the day. That's right. Brave and courageous Usopp is here. What was that? Phew. No sister cute bunny. Uh, uh, a zombie bunny? Hmm? I think I just heard a little girl screaming. I'll destroy her for interrupting my beauty sleep. Ah, what's a kid like you doing around here? Excuse me? Isn't it a bit too dangerous to be alone? Where are your parents? How dare you talk to a princess like that? Kneel before me. Hey guys, I think this little girl has a few screws loose. You know, upstairs. Who are you calling little girl? I am Perona, the princess of this island. Don't make me force you to the ground. Hmm, I'd like to see you try. Very well. Get, get, get. Ghosts? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How about we start things off with a bit of a bang? Ghost rats. Ugh! Get them off me! Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, I told you I'd make you kneel before me. This is useless. How strong is she? Negative hollow. My negative hollow ghosts throw anyone they touch into a spiral of depression. Never has a soul survived its hit. No, 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 no. Please, not again. Wait, nothing happened. I don't get it. Why didn't it do anything to you? I know I didn't miss. What type of power do you possess? Power has nothing to do with it. Your ghost won't work against me. I'm already a negative person. What? Now, take this. Special attack. Bubblegum star. We actually have a really special friend in the audience named Celeste, and she really likes One Piece, so we really wanted to get a group together and surprise her, and I hope she likes it. Oh, you did it for friendship! Get a round of applause! Somewhere over here, I'm pointing to someone. There she is. It's all your fault. This fabulous fault. So can you tell us about the construction of these costumes? Because it, there was a lot of like difficult patterning that actually went into it that you didn't realise it would have. Okay, so when Cameron first approached me and suggested that we do these costumes, I was like, I don't know, man, like they look a little bit simple. And then he just laughed and I was like, oh, okay. Um, when I actually started making it, particularly in the skirt, because I started with the skirt, there's so much math going into making sure each scallop lines up perfectly. And then I wanted the zip to go between the scallops and it was just... A lot more time consuming and difficult than I thought it would be, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm going to come over here to Usopp. Can you tell us some of the challenges that you had in making the, your costume? The main problem was with Usopp was just there's so much on me getting it to sit right and not be too cumbersome. So I think I achieved it and it worked really well, so I'm really happy with it. And I just need to point out some obvious <laughs> nose in the room. Can you tell us how you went about sticking that onto your face? 
Yeah, so this is a prosthetic that's just attached using Prose, which is a prosthetic adhesive, and then to secure it and try and blend the edges, it's just a thin Krylon um, latex. Now, finally, there were a few people who you did want to thank um, who helped you get here today. Definitely. A uh, big shout out to my fiance Bob and Kate's partner Jake for putting up with us. And also to Nick, Celeste, Matt, Freya, and everyone who's helped us along the way. We really appreciate it. Thank you, everyone. We love you. <laughs> we love you guys too. Round of applause.